Hello, my name is Matt Hayes and I'm a research assistant at the University Museum of Zoology in Cambridge. For audio descriptive purposes, I am a white male in my mid-twenties and I'm stood in my garden on a sunny day. Seeing butterflies on the wing is usually a surefire sign that warmer weather has arrived and I hope for most of us they're a common sight during spring and summer. One of my favourite things about butterflies is that they actually tend to avoid the very worst of the weather and only really come out between 10 and 4, making them the perfect study species for fieldwork. Butterflies are relatively large, colourful and free-flying insects, which means that they're quite easy to observe. This means that they've captured the imagination of people for centuries and they have a really long history of recording, especially in the UK. As well as being a fun hobby, butterfly recording can also give us lots of really helpful data. Butterflies have a complex life cycle with several different distinct life stages. They start off as an egg before turning into a caterpillar, which then forms a chrysalis, and finally they undergo metamorphosis into an adult butterfly. These different distinct life stages can sometimes have very different specific requirements, and that means that butterflies can be very sensitive to even small environmental changes. This means they are a useful indicator species, and if you see a change in the number of butterflies around you, this could indicate that there's a wider problem in the general environment. What that means is if you look after your butterfly populations, you can actually look after a whole host of different species at the same time. Going a step further, if we record extra details about the butterflies we see, we can learn even more. For example, noting down their behaviour when we see them can tell us a lot about what they're up to. Some behaviours are very easy to spot, and we might simply note down that a butterfly was flying when we saw it. Other behaviours can be a little trickier to tell apart, but you may well come across butterflies resting or basking between bouts of activity. When a butterfly lands, it may need to heat back up before taking off and power its energetically demanding flight muscles by basking in the sun. Usually, they will do this by opening their wings wide and orientating themselves to directly face the sun. They will even follow its movements over the course of the day as it moves across the sky. On the other hand, if the butterfly is just resting, then it is more likely to be facing away from the sun and most species will have their wings closed. Another important behaviour that can be observed is nectaring. When an adult butterfly needs to feed, it will visit a flower to suck up the sweet nectar inside. This also makes butterflies important pollinators, although bees tend to get most of the credit. There are other behaviours that are not exhibited by all butterfly species, but can be particularly impressive to observe. Some species hold territories where a male will sit and perch, waiting for a passing female to fly through, as with this speckled wood butterfly. However, if another male flies past, this can lead to a territorial spiral flight to let the intruder know the territory is taken. The males will fly around each other in tight circles, often rising up into the air together, before the territory holder settles back down. Other species don't hold territories, and instead, males fly around patrolling for females. Whether you're a territory holder or a patroller, when a male intercepts a female, this can lead to a courtship flight, where the two fly away together to mate, as with these brimstone butterflies. Finally, once they have landed, you may even see a pair of butterflies mating end to end. Or you may see a female ovipositing, where she curls her body beneath herself to lay her eggs on a plant. So there you have it, a few different behaviours to look out for when you're observing butterflies in the wild. If you want to have a go recording butterfly behaviours for yourself, why not take part in our Zoology Live Butterfly Challenge? Take a picture of any butterfly that you see and submit it using the Google form on our website. Click the Add File button to browse your files and find the image that you want to upload. There is then space on the form to note down other details, such as the name of the butterfly, where you saw it, and what it was doing. The Google form should be accessible via a smartphone as well as a computer. Where the form asks, what species of butterfly have you photographed, please write your best guess. If you do not know the species, that is not a problem, and you can simply write butterfly instead. Alternatively, if you would like some help identifying a butterfly, please follow the link on the form to the Butterfly Conservation's Identify a Butterfly Guide. If you are unsure about an identification, please tick the Unsure box on the form. This is not a problem, but just lets us know. 
The form will then ask, where did you see the butterfly? When recording the location, try to be as specific as possible. For example, you might write, east corner of Parker's Piece, Cambridge, under trees, or front garden on Mill Road, Cambridge. Using Google Maps can be a helpful tool for narrowing down the location. Being specific will help us upload the butterfly sightings onto a map using the wildlife recording website iRecord. This will allow you to see where the different species have been spotted once the butterfly challenge ends. The next question asks, what was the butterfly doing? And provides multiple choice answers for you. Simply select the behavior you saw the butterfly doing. Do not worry if your picture does not show it doing the behavior that you select. Finally, if you would like your butterfly sightings to be included in the Zoology Live 2021 Butterfly Challenge, please add your name and email address in the last two sections of the form. Then click Submit.